Kings Mill, in a previous interview, we talked about how uh, the uh, Global South was basically leapfrogging over the old uh, Western model of, you know, building out its electricity system, relying on fossil fuels. Part of this, that uh, leapfrogging is, is it taking place at utility scale, where the power grid is expanding to provide that? Or is it a distributed energy where people are putting... <clears throat> Uh, solar panels on their roofs and on their balconies and businesses are adopting them. Which, what's your take on that? Well, of course, it's different for every country, but what is most notable is that a, a, a large number of these countries don't have great grids um, and electricity is quite expensive and the regulatory regime is tooled up to favour incumbents. And, and then suddenly... Um, somebody shows up on a moped with um, a couple of solar panels and a small battery and gets you electricity at a quarter of the price and you just put it on your roof and that's what is happening it's incredibly disruptive very hard for governments to stop it and, and you know, the most famous example everyone talks about all the time at the moment is pakistan which suddenly became the world's sixth largest importer of chinese panels and now we're starting to see exactly the same story playing out right across Africa. So Ember put out this piece a few weeks ago showing that uh, Africa's seen a 60% increase in the import of Chinese solar panels um, in the last 12 months. And, and th this is very material for some of these countries. So yeah, we're, 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 now, we're now seeing a big gap starting to materialize between official statistics, which only count the big farms, and, and import statistics, which count everything. And, and either these things are piling up in giant warehouses all over the place or, you know, they're just being put up on roofs. And if you then take a look at satellite pictures, you see precisely that, that, um, you know, take a look at Bangkok right now. They're just um, uh, they're just stuffing solar panels on every square meter. Um, uh, uh, if you have a look on your on your on your satellite pictures. So, yeah, it's, it's incredible. It's happening faster than people can 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 count it properly. And therefore, it's going to be more disruptive. And and I think. One of the big barriers to change that people have been talking about an awful lot over the last two years, you know, we can't build the grids and we can't do this thing. And but actually that gets solved by distributed solar and um, and, and and batteries. And we did some very interesting analysis basically showing that right across the global south, you can get to very high levels of, um, of, of, of supply of electricity from solar plus batteries at very reasonable prices. I want to talk about the difference between residential uptake of uh, solar batteries and and uh, industrial and commercial, because we very often when we have this conversation, we're talking about homes, we're talking yeah. about residential. But there's <clears throat> been, and I'll use a, an, an example from an interview. So this young Costa Rican uh, uh, engineer, he goes to the U.S., becomes an electrical engineer, goes back to Costa Rica, and now his, his business is going to factories and large commercial operations and saying, our grid is unstable. It costs you money every time we have a brownout or a blackout. I will bring cheap so Chinese solar panels, cheap bat Chinese batteries, cheap Chinese digital controls, and I will integrate all of that so that you are up all the time and you save uh, money on your electricity bill. And it seems like, you know, that the integration into business and industry, it, because that's a huge part of demand, doesn't get enough attention, but there's really getting that part of it is getting gaining a lot of traction. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, I too have a friend in, in Costa Rica called um, Seth Kleiman and a company. Shout out to Seth and his company Avolta, who's doing precisely this too. And yeah, it's an incredibly lucrative business because centralized electricity is quite expensive, and um, you, you can, as you say, get this uh, this find these cheap solutions. I mean, again, we can all do the maths pretty pretty easily, and um, your your payback time. Um, in in many places is is three years so it's not surprising that the people do this but i think you're right business is particularly interesting because um they have these very large roof spaces and and then they access to to fields for example and then suddenly they can they can get electricity much more rapidly again people are struggling to build grids in the us and, and many other places so so a, a, a huge part of the solution to uh to, to solve that is to put um, distributed uh, solar panels, big big groups of distributed solar panels, um, you know, at, at scale next to factories with batteries next to them, so that you can actually then use your grids overnight to store the batteries. 
um and 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 then you don't have the kind of necessity for such huge grids because grids generally running about 30 or 40 percent capacity um so so this again is a, another way to get more out of less which we humans are very good at